Hi, YouTube. It's your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Today's video is about if you don't expect the best, they won't give it to you. Who is they? Everybody. That includes everybody in all facets of your life. If you don't expect the best, some people will give you simply crap because they are going to do and give you what you feel you deserve. You get what you focus on. You get what you put out. And these are known facts. People try to defy it. They'll try to deny it, but it is really true. Now, when I say stuff like that, of course, there's always outside circumstances that we cannot control. So I am not even talking about anything like that. What I'm talking about is still most things, you know. I'll give you my beautiful example. I always have one. So most of you know about my career situation, part-time therapist, and I keep a full-time job. So I kind of tell you a little bit what's going on with that. The age I'm hitting in less than a week, I'm 52, but it's prompted me, and I hope I turned my phone off, I did. It's prompted me to really dig deep into retirement. Like, what is my plan? Um, so for my beautiful listeners out there, don't do like me at way to 52. So I can tell you a little bit of my history. I've had several jobs, many, many jobs, actually. And I have never stayed on the job over five years. Um, most of the time I got laid off. I quit. Um, I had a real volatile career. Hated most jobs. Um, had to find my niche of social work and um, a, a therapist. So I found that a little bit later in life, in my 40s. However, I was never anywhere long enough to like build a big 401k or big pension or no pensions. If you have a pension, you bless. There are some, but not too many. So long story short, now my mind is like, okay, 52 through, I hate to say 67, but I just have to do it. I have to do what I got to do. So now I'm in this space of save retirement, money for later. And if I have to push it to 70, I plan on living it to my 90. So, you know, it is what it is. Especially if I have my own practice, I'm a therapist, I can kind of, you know, design my life how I want it. So for right now, I want jobs. Um, I'm even thinking about doing another job with a pension. That's um, not as much work as what I'm doing. Way more money. So that's kind of my focus now. Long story short, the job I started a few months ago, today I get an email. This this stuff just cracks me up. I can't make this stuff up. Bright red at the bottom. Do this certain assignment. It involves contacting our members. I only have three on the spreadsheet, but it went to the whole team of 13, 14 of us. Do whatever this assignment is. And if you can't get it done, talk to your supervisor. If you do not do it, there will be... Da -da -da -da, disciplinary action, baby. I just love it. Okay, so every time I hear that disciplinary action, I just think of my late mom, Dorothy Walker, coming along with a belt and beat me. Nah, she didn't beat us. I said, sorry, mommy. She didn't beat us, but she did whoop us. So when I hear disciplinary action, instantly I'm going back to a whooping because I don't know what else can you do to grown employees that are kicking their butts, kicking butts rather, with high case loads, doing wonderful jobs. I can tell my coworkers are all cool. I met them all, even though we're remote. They, If I have a question, I can email any of them, instant message any of them. We all have iPhones. They all help me. Nobody has turned me down when I ask something. So I, it, to me, everybody's cool. So why would you, see, that's what I'm saying. You got to the best. Require the best, and that is not the best. That's a mess. So it's just certain things in my career. It's just a no for me. No, don't do not do Tammy. Don't run every time something get bad or, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you do have to set a standard, should be up in the sky, of what you deserve. If you don't, they will give you hot mess. That's one area, your career. Now I'm telling everybody. 
when you go look for a job, because some people are really struggling money-wise, they have extraordinary skills. I'm like, give them a range. Stop saying, give me 45,000. Don't say, give me 50. Give me 50 through 75,000. Give me 60 through 80. I mean, it, the worst they can do is hit you in the middle at 75. 50 through 65, they hit you at 62, 64. It, it works, I've done it. And I'm telling people, please do these ranges and get the money you need. Gas has gone up. Airfare has gone up. Your soap has gone up. Toilet tissue. I mean, anything I go to buy is, is a higher. So require higher. You don't ask for the best. They will not give it to you. Go in a car dealership. You want a new car. They're being rude to you. They are trying to finagle the numbers and cheat you. You, you grab your keys because you already have a car, remember? And you're going to go out the door. Even if you have to go, if you came in a lift, get your nice lift and go out that door because we not, we're not desperate. You don't have to accept second best. You're out dating, gentlemen. And you don't took this, this beautiful lady out for dinner. And she's on her phone, texting, laughing with the bartender, not paying you any attention, being rude. You cut that date short and get on up out of there. You don't have to, you don't have to put up with that, ladies. He told you he was going to pick you up at eight. It is 845. You still haven't heard from him. You've called. No call, no show. I mean, unless the poor guy was in the hospital, somebody passed away. He got terribly sick. Is that the type of behavior that you want to put up with? Find out what happened. You know, I always give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but you know the red flags. If you don't expect the best, they will not give it to you. On my last apartment, I had a nice apartment. I stayed there over five years, but it began to have cigarette smoke in the hallway. Two-time breast cancer survivor. That's the last thing I'm trying to smell. That somebody smoked weed over and over. Okay, you want to smoke weed? Weed. Not sure why you gotta light the hallways up with dummies, but smoke your weed. Smoke, smoke as much as you want. But at least put a towel under the door so your so your neighbors don't have to inhale these fumes. And it's just like certain things you just don't want no parts of. I don't want to smell that on my clothes, and I don't want to smell that all day. Therefore. Among other things, I moved because some guy started doing it. Looked like mechanical work in the parking lot. No, we're not gonna be. We're not gonna be downtown in the suburb. I live like this downtown suburb, which was all of two, three blocks. But it was still cute. And I'm like, I don't want to be here. Nobody clanking and revving up a car. I'm on the video with my clients. I couldn't hear them. They would be like, "What's that?" I mean, it was like a few of my clients. I would be talking to them. Maybe they're somber. Or sad, then they hear, they're like, what's that? I'm like, what well, made me jump? No. So I moved to a better apartment. So I'm just saying, you deserve the best. You are a beautiful person, whoever's watching this video, handsome man, gorgeous lady. You're a good person. You work hard. You deserve the best in healthcare. You deserve the best in where you live. You deserve the best in your finances, your career, your relationships, when you travel whatever. You deserve the best. To get to the best, you have to set your standards. And when you set standards, people have no other choice but to conform to them. And it teaches others how to treat you. If you accept second best, they will gladly give it to you. Of course, this is not everybody, but I'm just saying, this is your life. And this is what I tell myself. This is my life. I have a responsibility to myself to be happy. I've got to wake up and look in the mirror and be real with myself. I shouldn't have a diarrheal stomach. I shouldn't dread waking up. I shouldn't dread Sunday coming. I'm not going to live like that. I did that. Those days are behind me. So I'm really thinking deeply and taking control of my life because um, this year has been, I think it's been a relatively good year, but it's been some stress with some of this employment I'm dealing with. I had it with my last job and I did like the company though. I did like the company. I like them so much. I would go back, but I just wouldn't do 
the counseling in the school, some other jobs there that they have that I would go back. So that's how much I like the company. But um, it's just, it's just a no for me, as they say, as the movie says, nope. So for you, whatever it is, whatever your thing is, only you know, always expect the best. Don't apologize. Don't, you know, shrivel up and try to make yourself smaller. Do not change. Be you, unapologetically you, and ask for what you need. So it's a, another side of, of that coin. You give the best. You give excellence. You give good behavior. You give good manners. You treat each other, and others kind. That way you expect best because you're giving best. It's nothing but a boomerang. What you give out is going to come back to you. This stuff really works. I am Tammy Sharice Walker, and this is my channel. Please hit subscribe, hit like. You all touching my heart because I'm almost at 500, and I'm going to do that community tab. On that community tab, I will be putting scholarship information because I use a couple of scholarships to get to through grad, blah, 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 get through grad school. I will be putting information about houses, you know, buying a house. I will be putting information about confidence, journaling, meditation, um, living your dreams, score.org, how you can start your own business. Those are just some of the things I plan on doing. So it's going to be a fun time on that community tab. Pretty excited to um, have it soon enough. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless you all. I love you all so much. And I am going to sign off. And I think read my new book, Atomic Habits, by um, Opus First Name James, because it's going to be James for right now. Clear is his last. Okay, take care. Bye.